Hello everyone, um, I posted a video earlier showing uh, the Zemo working with the uh, HTC Incredible. Um, I never showed how to set it up though, and I've gotten uh, quite a few uh, comments and requests for, you know, how to set it up. The video I used previously is using the GamePro drivers, which I would not recommend anymore. They're complicated and very expensive. Uh, Ten bucks. And you have to order it through their website, you can't order it through the Android market, so I would not use those anymore. Um, what you need to do is you need to go to the Android market and you need to download some drivers for this remote. Um, the drivers are called Blues IME, B L U E Z I M E, and um, it's free. So you download it. It doesn't work like a regular app, it doesn't put it in your app drawer. It actually uh, loads it into your, uh, your settings area because it is a driver. So basically, after you download that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your settings and um, first you're going to have to pair your uh, uh, your Android with your Zmote. So go into your Bluetooth and um, go ahead and put your uh, Zmote into pairing mode, which is basically when the light comes on, it starts turning yellow and blue. Okay, and then just scan for devices and it should pick it up. Go ahead and pair with it and the code is 0000, zero, zero, zero and hit OK. Alright, it should be in there now. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go back into your settings and scroll down to language and keyboard. Go ahead and go into there. Blues IME is in there. Go ahead and enable it and it's going to give you a warning um, asking if you're sure you want to do that. Um, then you go into your Blues IME and uh, it should already be in there. If not, go into Select Device. It should be located here. If it's still not, go ahead and scan for it. But mine's already in there, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. You're done in here. You don't need to do anything else unless you have specific keys that you want to map or specific buttons you want to map to the, uh, to the remote. Um, this already has kind of a basic configuration, which I use, so I, I don't even mess with it. Uh, so let's see then we go back now to actually get this to start working what you're gonna want to do is go into pretty much any text field um, excuse oops let's try that again <laughs> go into any text field and you're gonna want to change the input method now this will work for any text field um, change the input method you want to use uh, blues IME it should be in there so now that that's in there um, this should be connected so and you can tell because the light will just be flashing blue there will be no yellow and then um, after that you're gonna wanna go into your uh, your game emulator I don't know which one you use SNES uh, I'm using Genesoid so I'm gonna go into that and then um, go ahead and select a game I'm gonna go ahead and select Sonic because everybody knows Sonic let's see Okay, so once the game starts, you're going to want to go into your settings. So menu settings. You're going to want to select uh, other settings. Scroll down to the bottom. Mine's already checked, but you want to use input method. Go ahead and check that. That basically turns on the uh, telling it to use Blues IME with your emulator. Um, so let's go ahead and back out of that. Then you're going to want to change your input settings. Uh, do your key mappings. Um, so you want to do, you know, select up and then push up, down. So basically map all of your buttons and then, um, you know, for start, you know, go ahead and select which button. I use the top one because that one's hardest to hit and you never have to hit start very often. And then, you know, just the buttons that you use for which ones you want to use. Go ahead and map those. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and uh, start the game. And there you go, your, uh, your Zmote works. And that's basically it. And that's how you, uh, that's how you work the uh, Zmote with the uh, HTC Incredible. Now, once you're done with your, uh, once you're done with your, um, your Zmote, go ahead and power it off. And then what you're going to want to do is change your uh, input method back to um, uh, input method. 
change your input method back to touch input, otherwise you won't be able to type anything. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, how the Zmote works with the uh, HTC Incredible. And have a great day. Thanks.